Put the camera down? Yeah. Why? Because whoa, whoa. what are you doing there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you Don't touching my tape, why are you touching my camera, man? Put the camera down. That's against the law. What are you it's doing? You, the you just you just broke the law. You just, no, no, I know how the laws work, and I don't have to identify myself to a police officer unless you have reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed, I'm committing, or I'm going to commit a crime. Well, now. And then he goes and grabs, t attempts to take my phone from me, physically grabbing my phone. I had to rip it out of his hands. That is a crime, either a harassment or I don't want to be touched. I don't want my things being touched. Did you explain to him that you did not want to be touched? Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we are at the City Hall here in Vineland, New Jersey. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas and to ensure that our public officials and public servants respect and honor that right. Always remember guys, our main purpose here is to educate, not spread hate. Let's get into it. Hey sir, you talking about me? You gotta talk about me, talk to my face. What do you, what do you mean, what am I doing? What? Put the camera down? Yeah. Why? Because whoa, whoa. what are you doing there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you Don't touching my tape, Why are you touching my camera, man? Put the camera down. That's against the law. You, what are you doing? You, the law, the video tape you just you just broke the law. You just grabbed my camera, man. What are you doing? You gotta go out. Well, what's going on? What are you, you doing? I wanna speak to your supervisor. Who you are you? To my supervisor? Yeah, I wanna Who speak to your you? supervisor. Who are you? I didn't come up to you what grabbing you your personal stuff. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? What's Can I speak to a supervisor? He's trying to grab my camera. Okay, well. Are you gonna try and grab it too? I have nothing to do with you. I'm just making sure nothing's going on. So why why are you videotaping? I have to see the city clerk. Okay, so that doesn't mean I have anybody has to be videotaping. So you're in you're in public. That means you don't have an expectation of privacy. This gentleman didn't have any problem. He knew I was Dude, recording. Just, where are you heading? The city clerk. Okay, just have him, just wait one second. Yeah, but you can't videotape. You can't why videotape. why can't I videotape? I, I sure want to. I'm not turning it off. That's for sure. Sir, if you're, if are you a supervisor of some sort, or are you just, or are you just interested? Are you a supervisor that can help me, or explain the law to these gentlemen? Are you, are you law enforcement? Nope. Can you explain to these gentlemen what I'm doing here? I'm going upstairs. I mean, you, you've been staying here. Watch me for what? They're gonna te they're gonna in they're gonna teach you the law. What's wrong with you guys? Why are you What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Wh what makes you think that you can grab my camera and do whatever you want? What makes you think you can do things? What makes you think that you can? What what, what makes you think that you can just grab my stuff? Well, how would you like it if I grabbed your name badge or or your hat off your head? What would you like that? No, right? That would be breaking the law, correct? You, you don't think it's breaking the law your for security. a person that personal? How do you think I'm breaking? How do you think somebody? I'm breaking? I know how you broke the law. How am I breaking the law? How are you law? breaking the law? You were breaking the law by videotaping me. Uh, I'm breaking the law. Somebody you don't know. I'm breaking the law by videotaping yes, you. Yes, you want me to call an attorney about that? Yeah, I would. I would invite you to. I would invite you to. Can I get your name? Why do you need my name? Because you're you're interacting with me. No? Okay, what's your name? Can I get your name? <laughs> I can't get your name? Do you work for the do you work for the city? So you're a city employee, so why wouldn't you give me your name? Why are you being unreasonable? Why are you being unreasonable? How am I being unreasonable by not stopping a constitutionally protected activity? You Is don't think I have constitutional rights? You don't have a constitutional oh, right to I privacy. Don't? No, I don't? Don't. Not to privacy what's in your public. Name, sir? Not to privacy in public. What's your name, sir? What is your name? What is your name, sir? Um, I want to know what's your name. <laughs> You grab my phone. I'm gonna press charges on you. You think it's funny? Gary. Oh. Yeah. Gary. Yeah. Gary going to jail. That's what he's gonna do. I'm pressing charges. You're leaving. Goodbye. I'm pressing charges. Go. Get out of here. I'm gonna wait for the police to get here. I wanna press That's charges. That's fine. Go sit down. Go sit down. Everybody sit down. Everybody sit down. 
That's crazy. You come up to me grabbing my camera. What's wrong with you guys? That's the kind of service you guys offer here at the town hall? City no, hall here? Not videotape me. Why can't I videotape? Because I am you I'm asking you not to videotape me. But is it against the law? Yes it is. No, it's not. Whoa, you guys. Can I see the city clerk? I have business to conduct. Why can't I go upstairs? I have business to conduct. Are the police on their way? Can I speak to some sort of supervisor? Can I speak to a supervisor, please? Excuse me, sir. May, may I speak to a supervisor, please? Yeah. Okay. Great. That's how you want to do it? That's fine. Excuse me, sir. Are you a supervisor here by any chance? Are you a supervisor here by any chance, sir? Sir, I'm, I, as soon as I walked in here, the security guards tried to grab my phone and prevent me from filming. I'm an independent journalist. No one asked me what I was doing here. I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story, as well as I need to see the city clerk for some Freedom of Information Act requests, as well as to conduct some business. Did this you, is a public building. Did you make an appointment to see him? I mean, I no, they never told me I needed an appointment, sir. What's up, sir? How are Hi, you? how are Bob you? Bob Dickinson. City, Bob, nice to meet City you. Administrator. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay, so you can help me out. What do you hopefully. need? Hopefully. I just walked into City Hall here, mm -hmm. sir. Let me, uh, I just walked into City Hall here. Okay. And um, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Okay. And I want to go, I want to see the city clerk. So okay. they, I passed the mag and everything. They told me everything was okay. And then the, immediately when Gary, who's in there, saw that I was filming. He tries to grab my phone and prevent me from filming. He says, I can't film in here. It's against the law because it's a government building. And he, gra he physically grabs my camera from me as a security guard here, which is not right. I'm a, I'm a law-abiding citizen, sir. I'm, an, I'm exercising my First Amendment right of freedom of press. This is a public building, sir. What, what's the reason for visiting City Hall? I'm sir? gathering content, and I'm also in my gathering okay, what content. What do you want to see? City Hall, sir. That's, I mean, city, city, the city clerk, All right, sir. Well, let's go. We'll go to the city clerk's office. Well, sir, I, oh, I want to wait here on. because they called. I appreciate that, but they called the police on me, sir. Yeah, sir. I did. Yeah, so I did. so I want to be able to speak because to. The, they I, told me that you were here for to see the city clerk, uh -huh. but you refused to go to the city clerk's office. No, that's that's a lie, sir. That's a lie. No, I'm just going by what I'm told. Yeah, no, I want to so wait for the police. I, pol I want to. Let's go to the city clerk. I want to wait for the police come, because we'll grabbing my phone, sir, is 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 a crime. We'll you can't talk touch about me. That when the police come, let's go to the city clerk's office. Come All right, on. I'll go with you. So as long as the police come up here, that's fine. Thank you. Hi, how are you, ma'am? How are you? You need those? No, well, either one. I guess we got a. What would you call yourself? I'm an independent Free, journalist. journalist. Independent journalist. Independent journalist. Yeah, independent here. journalist. And he's videotaping everything, but he says he has business here at the clerk's office. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, correct. I would like to take a look at the the annual uh, city budget. The annual city budget. Correct. Yeah. For uh, for this year, for 2021. For 20 for the latest one that you have, sir. Yeah. Okay. The latest one that you have on file. All right. Yeah. Hold on. Hold Thank on. you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to take it with me. I just want to look at it here. That's all. Any budget you ever want to see, you just go online, you can see it. Okay. Yeah, no. I, I like to get the experience of coming down to the city hall and, you know, documenting. I'm, an, I'm a journalist, so sure. I want to document government employees and how they conduct themselves. And sure. We have it available for you. Thank you. Appreciate that, sir. Thank you. And when you're done... Also, I wanted to uh, do a... Uh, do you guys in, in New Jersey, is it a Freedom of Information Act request or is it a, Oprah. do you call it something that's different? It's called an Oprah. An Oprah? Yep. Oprah. Oh, Oprah. okay. Open, open yep. records request. Gotcha. Yes, gotcha. So when you're done, you can just go to the elevator, hit the button, and it'll take you down to the ground floor. Yeah, sure. Okay. No problem, sir. You Thanks. It. Well, he treated me a lot better than the uh, security guards for sure. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate that.
And sir, if, if you don't mind, um, can I just get a piece of paper? I want to do a, I guess you guys call it here, an Oprah. Yeah, an Oprah request? Yes, yeah. yeah. Do we have any up here? No. There should be one here. Is that the one? Yeah. So, if, yeah, if you'd like to do an Oprah request, there's the. that's all the forms right there. Great. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm just going to put my company name. That's all right, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all right. Yeah. Now, question for you. The security guards that are downstairs, they're, they're city employees? Yes. Or I just want to make sure if it was yep. um, yeah, they're city an outside. Um, no, no. They're, they're employed by us. By yeah. the city, correct. The city. I think that's it. Okay. Just let me know if I'm missing anything, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to look at this really yeah. quick. It says Long Island Audit, right? Yeah, at gmail.com. Gmail. Okay. okay. Yeah. First and last names of all security guards working on 914. And I'm just going to put the year here for that you want oh, it this year, yes, right? Correct. 2021. Thank you. Yep. And their salary. Thank you. Each is salary. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much, sir. No problem. And I'm going to deliver email. it to email. Email. Uh, Long Island Order at Gmail. Yep. Thank you, sir. All righty. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Take care. Yep, Rich, there's two in expenditures all right well thank you sir okay I got all right I we'll get this out to you as soon as possible thank you all right you have a good day you too thank you well that was very an eventful beginning and seems like they uh changed their tune very quickly got a 9-11 memorial here Very cool. Uh, I wonder if this has always been here or they did this for 9-11. Beautiful building here. Security guards need some retraining, but everybody else seemed uh, very nice. Personnel office over here. We have the directory. We'll see if there's anywhere else we need to go. Council chambers, collections. Let's see if the uh, police officers are downstairs. I don't want to miss them. That guy needs uh, to be held accountable. Hey. How are you doing today, sir? Hi, sir. Can I help you? Uh, no, can I just get your name and badge number? Hendershot, 4225. Hendershot? Hendershot? I, yeah, that would be me, yes, Hendershot. Who are oh, you? okay. Oh, I'm not going to release that information right now. Well, if I'm providing my information, it's only fair that I know who I'm speaking to. So at least I can make sure that you're aware of the, the proper legal ramifications or how the laws work, just like I was informing well, them of such. No, no, I know how the laws work. And I don't have to identify myself to a police officer unless you have reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed, I'm committing, or I'm going to commit a crime. Well, now, so as far as security is concerned, yes, he has the free right to record you guys. However, depending on how the city just chooses to handle the situation, if his business is completely finished within the city and then you guys are requesting that he leave, you guys can always sign trespassing complaints against him, at which point then your name would be needed so that they can therefore follow through with signing those complaints with the violent municipal court. Which would mean that I'd be committing a crime. A disorderly person's offense, yes. Correct. So I would like to report a crime to you as a law enforcement officer. Just so I know, what, what's your name? Alice Rodriguez. And badge number? 7125. Thank you. I appreciate it, Rodriguez. No so I would like to report a, a crime. Uh, one of the security officers here, as soon as I walked in the door, um, passed the mag, did everything that I was supposed to do, comes up to me, tells me it's against the law to record in a government building, which you just explained that it's not. Mm -hmm. And then he goes and grabs, t attempts to take my phone from me, physically grabbing my phone. I had to rip it out of his hands. That is a crime, either harassment 
or I don't want to be touched. I don't want my things being touched. Did you explain to him that you did not want to be touched prior it's, to it's, that? It should be. It place? should. It should be given. It should. It should be common knowledge. Like you don't have to tell me that you don't want to be touched because if I touched you right now, I'm sure it wouldn't end well for me. Yeah, but so, most people are aware of the fact when it comes to law enforcement. However, so they shouldn't be aware what a, what a, what a, a free citizen, law-abiding citizen. Some people don't have. Everybody's interpretation of personal space is different. So on average, most people's personal space is your wingspan, which meaning your arms being stretched out. Mm -hmm. But some people tend to talk a little closer than that. So everybody's is different. Um, we're, not talking about, we're not talking about a personal space here. We're talking about a physically trying to take my phone from me, sir. That's okay, what so we're- You would have that on video? Correct, of him touching my camera, correct. Yeah, correct. Okay. So if I touch your camera, what crime am I committing? I don't know that you're a law enforcement officer. You'd have to tell me okay, that. So there is no theft. Okay. Right. Can I get a Can I get a super Can I request a supervisor, please, to speak with? Regarding what? I would just like to speak with the supervisor regarding, so they can explain to me exactly what non-crime it is to touch somebody's stuff. Like if I were to grab your camera right now, you would. I'm law enforcement, so it's completely. Yeah. No, but... you're you're no better than me just because you're law enforcement. So. Okay. So, if you touch law enforcement, and we simply explain to you not to touch us. Again, depending on the manner in which you do so, can be viewed in an aggressive manner, therefore determining that the fact that you can be arrested. He grabbed me in an aggressive manner, that's what I'm telling you. I'm t I didn't know what he was capable of, and he, he could have hurt me even worse than what he did. He grabbed my phone, tried to grab it, he grabbed it, I pulled it away from him. I'd like to speak to a supervisor regarding this complaint. So he grabbed your phone, you pulled I had it away to... from him. Mm -hmm. It's a harassment at the, at the at the minimum it's harassment so how is it harassment because you understand the statute for harassment with the intent to alarm or annoy okay okay he had the intent to alarm or annoy me by grabbing my personal property so do you believe he had the criminal intent to cause that while being a city employee yeah that doesn't mean anything reported. to me i don't if you grab if, if you grab my phone i would i would want to press charges on you i don't care if you're law enforcement a city employee a priest Whatever the mayor, I don't care who you are. You don't touch me. That's that's what I live by because I don't touch anybody else. So, so but that's why you have to explain that to other people. I don't have to explain not to be touched, person. sir. That's in, that's incorrect. I don't have to explain. And I would like to speak since we're having a little bit of a, a miscommunication and a, you know we're not agreeing. I would like to speak to a supervisor. So, so you maybe want my he, supervisor to inform you of the same thing I'm telling you. I would like to speak to your supervisor, sir. Please, if that's all right with you. Four to a mobile supervisor. Thank you. Appreciate it, officer. Our unnamed individual at City Hall who doesn't want to provide his information would like to speak with a supervisor. Does not like the answers I'm giving him. Yeah. I mean, I'll give you my information if you have reason to articulable suspicion I've committed a committing or going to commit a crime. For sure, I will. I comply with all laws, sir. I want to say I do appreciate you letting them know that I do have the right to film in public. Thank you for thank you for conveying that to the security here because, mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, you should have never been called. I should have been allowed to conduct my business. I'm an independent journalist. I explained that to them. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. I told them where I needed to go, which was the city clerk. Luckily, the administrator came. The city administrator came down and, you know, de-escalated the situation and allowed me to conduct my business here. Well, not everybody is aware of how things work when it comes to recording mm -hmm. many lay people have no concept or understanding of the laws regarding recording devices well this is why i love to educate i love to because now that now i bet you all these security guards will definitely know in the future right well, they'll definitely know they should know not to touch people so that's something that i'm not going to let go here so you guys can not do your jobs or do them that's up to you but i'll be going to the state's attorney and, uh, doing what i need to do i'm sick and tired of people putting their hands on me when they're not supposed to it's getting a little old now and not suffering the consequences because if i did it if i put my hands on these security guards whew, you got your gloves on and everything you would have you would have had me in the back of your car by now if i put my hands on them for nope. sure for sure i would no nope. for sure you would Admitting or stating that you could, if you were to put your hands on them, is simply a simple assault. It's, it's, it's a disorderly person's offense. It's mm -hmm. a simple assault. It's 
means we come out, we document, we leave. People sign their own complaints. Yeah, as far as a... It's not an arrest. Yeah, well, it's it's a, it's an effect in arrest. No. It's a des it, would it not be a DAT? We come out, we obtain the information, people sign their own complaints at the courthouse. We leave and document it. That's the end of it. Okay. Just going to get all my ducks in a row, get, get that information from the sergeant. Just so I know I spoke with the supervisor. Cross all my T's, dot all my I's. Make sure everything is uh, good here. So, you want to report just harassment? I mean... Yeah, well, I want to speak. I want to speak to the supervisor. All right, he's on his way, but other than that, there's nothing for us really to do here besides if you want to report a harassment, and we yeah. can get the information, you can go to the courthouse and we'll sign your own complaints against that. Okay. I mean, I prefer. Other than that, I, other than I, that there's if you'd like for us to do here, we can. We're just going to leave. Yeah. So you're not going to wait for the sergeant. Well, we can. There's no point for us to really wait for the sergeant. I mean, we're giving you I just, options. I know. I just don't want to. I don't want to wait here and no sergeant comes here. You, you That's don't all. have to wait here. You can leave. Yeah. It's up to you. No, but I want to speak to a sergeant. All right. Well, you can just wait here. Just wait yeah. for the sergeant. I mean, like I said. All right. Well, uh, you know, if you if you would like if you would like to try and de-escalate the situation, so I don't have to, so you don't have to take a harassment report from me. You know, I'd be willing to accept an apology from the security guard. Okay. So if you, I, I don't want to go in the office and talk to him. So if you want to talk to him, so that way we can avoid this, you know, maybe officer? he didn't know. I believe know? his name is Gary. Gary? I believe his name is Gary. No, that way we can avoid him. all of this. I'll stand by while you ask him. Okay. I mean. I mean, we're, we're here. The window's right there. You want to ask him? Uh, on this side. Is the uh, is the city administrator coming? Is he coming? I think so, yes. He is. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait for him. I'll wait for him. I mean, uh, I agree. I mean, nobody's forcing you guys to stay here. You can leave at any time. You know, You're free to leave. I'm waiting for the uh, city administrator. So you don't his, want to speak to the security? I'm waiting to speak to his boss first. I'm going to speak to his boss first. Boss. Yeah. He's supposedly on his way down right now. Did you run out of battery yet? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet, city Here's administrator. My card. If you want to send a complaint, you can send it to my e so email complaint, address. So a complaint goes to your email address right here. Yep. Perfect. Gotcha. Send and it to me, is, and then uh, I'll send it to the legal department, and Robert then we'll Dickinson. investigate it, and we'll go yeah. from there. Okay, great. So right. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and give your um, your employee here. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, hem anybody up in any in any sort of way. He's trying to have me up. I, I've been peaceful since I've gotten here. I didn't deserve to be treated that way. But if I can get a sincere apology, I can. You know, I know that's up to him. But I, I think it might be the best way for him to just. Well, we'll, we could just, we'll be able to pull the cameras and take a look at everything. Yeah, I'm sure. We'll investigate and investigate you'll see. And, you'll see. Fully. Mm -hmm. and uh, if so any you, action needs to be done, we'll yeah. take action. Well, what would you? What would you? Would you uh, agree with an employee of yours going up to an uh, independent journalist and grabbing I'm not their camera? I'm going to agree to anything because I didn't see what happened. No, but I'm saying if that if that's what I'm telling you that's is true. The, uh, that's what I'm saying. I didn't see what happened, so I'm not going to speak about it or take any comment. But if you. Are you done with well, business I, here at the city? I'm, well, no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, because it doesn't seem like you're taking this very seriously because I'm I trying to tell. I am taking this seriously. I'm, I'm going to do my own. you comment on something that that wasn't okay. a witness to. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to ask Gary and then I'm going to ask Gary if we, he could do a sincere apology hey, as a man. Gary. Hey Gary, you want to, you want to apologize for the way you, for the way you treated me and we can move on as men? You want to apologize for the way you treated me and grabbing my camera and we can move? Off. If I what? Still I'm still videotaping. Yeah, I'm asking you to apologize as a man. I'm asking you to apologize as a man for grabbing my camera and for treating me the way you did. And then we could leave it at that. We could shake hands and move on. Or you know, I'll file complaints and I'll file a report against you. I'm sick of people coming up to me and thinking that they have the right to touch me. They don't. Have, you, you don't have a right to touch feel, me. Hold on. Did you feel I had I, I had touched you? You you touched my camera for sure. Yeah. You tried to grab it from me. No, I didn't try to grab. I'm gonna say this. Okay. I great. Like, hold on. I went like this. And you came forward. Yeah, no. I went backwards. Hold on. 
Okay, so I said just put the camera down. All right. Do you remember that? So I'm gonna. Okay, no hold problem. On, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Come now on, listen. Because you know I wasn't. I, you guys, you guys went way out of control here. I'm not at fault here. So if you want to make it, if you want to try not, and put the fault I'm on not. me, I'm just an independent journalist gathering content for a story. I didn't curse at you. I didn't come in here yelling. I didn't do any of that, Gary. Did I yell at so, you? So you grabbed my phone to try and take it from me. You want me to apologize? I'm asking you to apologize as a man. I would apologize if I did what I did to you. I would apologize because I'm a man. I would say, listen, hey, I'm a good citizen. I'd say, hey, listen, I'm sorry for, for, for trying, to grab your, you, trying to grab your phone, for grabbing your phone. I shouldn't have done that. Next time I know better. That's it. We move on. All right. I apologize, sir. Excuse me? I apologize. Sir. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. All right? Thank you for being a man and apologizing to me. I really appreciate it. Let's move on. That's it. Thank you, officer, for your time. Sergeant. All good, sir. All good, sir. It's, it's handled. Okay. It's handled. Thank you. No problem. Have a great day. Have a nice day. You too. So I can move. Thanks for coming out, Sarge. Appreciate no it. No problem. Anytime. Thank you. Stay safe, okay? Have a nice day. So we're going to record a little bit outside. Take care, officer. You too. All right, guys. So we're just getting out of the city hall here in Vineland, New Jersey. Overall, I would say it was a very successful audit. It did not start off too well with the security guards being very ignorant, loud, ignorant of our rights, ignorant of the law, ignorant of their job descriptions, which is to observe and report grabbing my phone, trying to escalate the situation, calling the police on me. It did not start off very well at all. Thankfully, the city administrator came downstairs, de-escalated the situation, helped me accomplish what I needed to accomplish in this building. By the time I came back down, the police were already on the scene, explaining to all the security guards, educating them that filming is not against any laws. It is all right. I was going to press charges against the security guard, Gary, for grabbing my phone because it's about time these guys learn a lesson. Very arrogant. They think that they could do whatever they want when their job is to observe and report. But, you know, fortunately for Gary, he decided to, you know, be a man and apologize, be a good citizen, rather, and apologize face to face, shake my hand, and we moved on. I'm not here to spread hate, I'm here to educate. We're here to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right. I do not want to put anybody in jail or any legal trouble. I know what that feels like. So, and, I, and the, tr the trouble I'm in is unjust and righteousness will prevail in those cases. But overall, like I said, a very successful audit. You know, hopefully Gary learned his lesson here today. The police officers, you know, educated them I educated the police officers on a couple things. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.